All right, so today we're going to focus more on transformations, in particular translations and rotations. So transformations are changing the size or location of a geometric figure. So on page 47, make sure that you copy these notes down. There are four types of transformations, translations, rotations, and in last class we talked about reflections and dilations. So translations are when you slide the figure. Okay, so look at the example down here. Let's label that A. So A is there. B, C, and D. Take a second and get those ordered pairs. All right, so check yourself and make sure that you're right. Okay, so now it says, if the number is positive, I move my points. Well, think about it. If X is positive, you move right. If Y is positive, you move up. So we'll say right or up. If the number is negative, you go left or down. So we'll say left or down. And don't forget, order pairs are x, then y. Alright, so it says that we're asked to translate positive 6, negative 5. That means we're going to move 6 spaces toward the positive, so 6 right, and then down 5 units. So we're going to take this shape and we're going to slide it right 6, down 5. So this means right 6 and down five spaces. To indicate the new point we talked about this last time, rename it using a prime. You state the new point as letter prime with the apostrophe. So like A would become A prime. So go ahead and recopy down the um, ordered pairs from the table above for A, B, C, D, down here in the original column. Okay, so now let's label A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. So the rule was we're taking the shape right six units down five. A couple different options. One is to count the spaces. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So C prime is going to be at 4, negative 5. We'll do the same for B. So right 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5, negative 1. Another option is to take the original ordered pair, so like A was negative 5, 4, and add 6 to the x value. So I'll show you. So add 6 to the x value. And again, that's coming from the rule here. So negative 5 plus 6 gives you 1. And then add negative 5, which says double signing. That's the same as subtracting 5 to the y value. So we get 1, negative 1. So D was at negative 4, 0. So add 6 for D prime. And we'll get 2. Add negative 5, negative 5. Over 2, negative 5. 
So whichever method you prefer, you can use the addition, like I showed you here, or just counting the boxes, like here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next page. Alright, so page 48. Go ahead and start by getting the order pairs for A, B, C. Write those here for the original shape. The rule is here. Write 3, because the X is going positive 3. Y is going down 4. Go ahead and try this shape, then check yourself with me. Alright, so go ahead and check yourself. Make sure that yours matches up. So I started by getting my ordered pairs for A, B, and C. And I chose to do the addition. So I did negative 4 plus 3 to get negative 1. And 5 minus 4 to get 1. And I did that all the way through for B and C. But again, you could also count. Write 3, 1, 2, 3, and then down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Go ahead and try this image over here. Okay, go ahead and check your work. The only difference this time is the rule says 4 units left and 2 units up. So it's giving us words this time instead of the ordered pair. But I went ahead and changed it for you here. If we're going left, that's negative. Up is positive. So again, I did my addition 3 plus negative 4 to get negative 1, and 6 plus 2 to get 8. But you could also count 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. So on page 55, we're going to focus on rotations. That has to do with turning a geometric figure. So clockwise, that's the direction the clock goes, is like this. Counterclockwise, counter like the coordinate grid, goes like this. So if they ask you to move 90 degrees, you want to go 1 quadrant, 180 is 2, 270 is 3, and 360 is 4. Don't forget the signs of the different quadrants. Big thing with this lesson, make sure that you pay attention to clockwise or counterclockwise. Alright, so down here below, we have this um, quadrilateral. We're going to move that clockwise. So for every 90 degree rotation, switch the order of the numbers in the order pair. Adjust the signs to match the quadrant. So in other words, for every 90 and 270 degree rotation, XY is going to switch to YX. So that's for 90 and 270. For 180 and 360, XY stays the same. But for every rotation that you do, you're going to have to adjust the signs based on whatever quadrant that you land in. So let's start. Go ahead and get the ordered pairs for A, B, C, and D. Alright, so here are the original ordered pairs. So 90 degrees clockwise, that's one quadrant, and clockwise would be in this direction, so we're going to end up here. So reviewing the rules for 90, x, y switches to y, x. So that means 1, 1, I'm going to switch this to 3, 2, 5, 1, and 3, 3. So that's for 90 degrees. Now we go back and adjust the signs. All the x's will be negative because you land in this quadrant, quadrant 2. Go ahead and plot that figure. Alright, so because of space, I'm going to take my 180 and go up here. So for 180, XY stays XY. So look back at your original. So it's going to stay 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 5, and 3, 3. We just have to be sure to adjust the signs. So anytime it's 180, it's going to be diagonal to where the original was. So we're going to go from quadrant 3 up to quadrant 1. You can also count 
180 is two quadrants. One, two. So quadrant one, everything is positive. Go ahead and plot these points. Okay, now let's do 270. So 270 is like 90, except again, we have to adjust the signs. So 90, 180, 270, so we're quadrant 4, positive x's and negative y's. So you can look back at the original, so positive x, negative y, switch x and y, 3, negative 2, so it'll be a prime prime prime, b prime prime prime, c prime 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 is going to be 5, negative 1, and finally we'll have 3, negative 3. Alright, so check yourself and make sure that you got everything correct. Again, big thing, 90 and 270, flip the x and the y. 180 and 360, xy stays in the same order, but regardless, you always have to adjust the signs based on which quadrant that you land in. Alright, so page 56. So 90 degrees means one quadrant. 180 is two. 270 is three. And 360 is four. That takes you back to the original position. So that's clockwise. That's the direction the clock goes. This is counter clockwise. Alright, so you go ahead and try this example over here. Then check yourself with me. So first, rotate ABC 90 degrees clockwise. So you'll end up in quadrant 1. And don't forget, for 90 degrees, XY flips to YX. Then, 180 counterclockwise, so that's going to put you 90, 180 in quadrant 2, but again, 180 is always diagonal. So for 180 and 360, XY stays the same. So give it a try, and then check yourself with me. Alright, so go ahead and check yourself. So for 90 degrees clockwise, quadrant 1, flipped them, so 5-5, five, 7-1 five. became 1-7, 3-1 became 1-3, all positive because you're in quadrant 1. So 180 puts you in quadrant 4, I kept the order pairs the same, but just adjust the signs. Oops guys, really quick, look back at page 47. I noticed I made a mistake with labeling the points down here in this table, so let's correct that. So a prime, so negative 5 plus 6 gives you 1. 4 minus 5 is negative 1. b prime, 6 minus 1 is 5. And then 1. Negative 1, sorry. C prime is 4, negative 5, and D prime is 2, negative 5. So the image isn't going to change, but just be sure that you do correct this table.